Hi everybody, welcome to Crafty Cat Stitcher. That's my channel and my name is Kathy and this is video number 37. I'm back. I know it's been a while. I'm getting a little bit of a glare. Let me see if I can move a little bit. I know we don't like our glares on floss tube, do we? I don't. Um, okay, it's video number 37. Today it's Friday, November the 8th, 2019. And like I said, it's been a while. I realize that and I apologize, but October was uh, an alternately fun, busy, and stressful month, and I just, I just, I mean, I even lost my stitchy bug for like, I don't know, like a week and a half, so it was not the best, but it started out really well. I will tell you about um, that in a minute. Um, in fact, I'll tell you about that now. Um, the first weekend in October, my sister and I traveled to Knoxville, Tennessee, where we attended Cindy's Cross to Tree Treat. It was wonderful. It was so well thought out, well put together. I had a great time. Um, I have been to retreats before, but very, very small ones, and more like the ones we have for our stitch group, a private one, um, which sounds snobby, but it's not. Um, but Cindy's retreat was amazing. Um, got there on Thursday night, left on Sunday morning, and uh, Friday and Saturday, just solid stitching and talking and laughing and having a really good time. I met the most amazing people. I enjoyed everything that we did. We had an exchange, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but um, we were greeted by, of course, by Cindy of Cindy's Cross Stitch, and she gave us a goodie bag that was packed with stuff that was just amazing. So um, I'm not going to show you everything. You know, a lot of you have probably heard all about this retreat, and I don't want to be too repetitive, um, but... I'm going to show you a few of the things. We've got this nice little, beautiful little chart. Of course, it has sunflowers on it. Gorgeous. It's by Hands On Design. Just beautiful. And, you know, it's so much fun to get something like that. It just, like, commemorates the occasion, as did this little button. I know I'm not going to be able to get it in there, but it's says Knoxville Cross Retreat 2019. That was awesome. Um, got stuff stuck together. Got some, got some needles. My favorite brand. Awesome. I keep saying awesome. That's so weird. Okay. I'm not going to be too weird anymore, okay? Um, What else did I want to show you from here? I wanted to show you some other stuff in this bag, but, and it would take me like a half hour to show you everything. But anyway, it was just full, really, oh, amazing little things. Counting pins from Lady Dot Creates. Um, some Krynix, some DMC is in here. Weeks Dye Works. Oh, um, another thing that we got, and this was from our friend Harriet, who attended the retreat. She gave everybody some floss drops that she made. So anyway, that was fun. We had such a good time, and like I said, I just really enjoyed meeting other stitchers. It was not a huge, giant group. It was like 25 people, and that just seemed perfect. So totally fun beginning to, of the month. Um... And then we went to, it was like, I think the third week in October, there was a wedding in Indianapolis. It was the wedding of my husband's niece, and we both went to attend it very badly and because we really wanted to go and see family and just, you know, just be there for the occasion, and it was wonderful. Um, we made it just in time. For the wedding. I am not kidding. I had 45 minutes to totally get ready from traveling, from driving. We drove from where I live and we did it in two days and we got there with 45 minutes to spare till we had to actually leave. So it wasn't like 45 minutes before the wedding, but 
Um, we planned it really well, but that's just how it turned out. So anyway, the one, one thing I wanted to tell you about is that the bride is a stitcher and she stitched the table numbers for um for the for the tables they were stitched i took a picture and i will insert it right here hopefully so we'll see um <laughs> if that works and it should um, um but that was that was just so neat to see and i don't think anybody else i don't think it with non-stitchers i don't think it registered so you know i pointed it out to my husband he's like take a picture you know so um, I think I was the only one that thought it was cool. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there was another stitcher there. So anyway, October, oh, Halloween was a total bust. I mean, it rained. It was cold. I think we had like 35 kids where we usually have like 75. <laughs> so, um, I didn't even put any Halloween decorations out. I do have, um, fall decorations out, but I didn't put anything out for Halloween. Uh, even even cousin it didn't get put out. So so anyway, um, but anyway, I like I said I lost my stitchy bug, but when I started to go through what I have worked on, I think I did pretty well. So um, I do want to show you a finish, and it's one that I've been showing you a little progress on for the last couple videos. It's um. Frosty Weather by Blackberry Lane Designs. But it's not the whole thing. It's my little project, my tiny, tiny project that is going to go into a little watch frame for a Christmas ornament. So I chose um, the motifs out of it. And yes, it's finished. Uh, nope. I think this is probably about as good as it's going to get. I did it one over one on 32, and I'm going to tell you something that was very difficult. And um, I like the way it came out. I did a little fudging at the bottom where I put some snow, but, um, and I opted for French knots on the tree for Christmas ornaments. So what do you think? This is it. The next time I see you, I hope to have this whole thing done as I would like to give it as a gift and the recipients will be here at Thanksgiving. So that was this, mm, that, it was hard. It was just hard. It was hard to see. It was hard to fit the needle into places and to get all the stitches. It just was, I don't know how you guys do it. Stitching like one over one on 40. Oh, I don't know. I love it. Look. I love it. And it's going to look really cute and watch, and it is going to fit. So, um, I also worked on Luminous Fiber Arts, a Bluebird Salute. I had put this down because I made a major error in the border at one point, and I ran out of floss. Poor me, right? Um, but I got significant amount done on it and my border looks pretty good and of course we all hope it matches up don't we <laughs> okay so I worked on that and um at Cindy's retreat I actually did work on I worked on Believe I think I worked on the Bluebird also at Cindy's retreat Believe by Dimensions it was a kit and um I'm stitching it on 28 count Jobelin, and the color was exactly the, I was, I'd say this I think every time I show you, I did not use the kit fabric, but I found a good match, so, and I got, I did get a lot done on it. I don't think I'll have it ready yet for Christmas, but you know what, I stitch everything all year round. I stitch, you know, Christmas in January, and it, it, that's just what I do. You know me. I've been around long enough, right? So, um, also, Bluebird's Garden, who I just love. And um, this is by Artful Offerings. I just love this Bluebird. Mm. And I got more done. I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty good portion of the Bluebird. 
this one you have to really keep an eye on, especially if you're you've got it in a frame um, because the color because the checks in here are so repetitive not repetitive boring but repetitive in that you can't, it's hard to keep track of so I have like a little piece of sewing thread sticking out as a marker for the center so I can you know if I get lost I can always go back and say all right this is the center and then count and it's worked out really well so bluebird you know, I worked on something. Oh, I know what I worked on and I forgot all about it. Oh, let me get it. I forgot all about this. I don't have the chart with me at the moment. But I worked a lot on this. I can't get my cover off. I have a cover for this roll of frame, which I actually had extra for my little curtain balance that I sewed. Um... Quaker Diamonds by Rosewood Manor. That's the right way. Yes. I had a lot more of the centerpiece done. This is not, this is not actually in the center, but um, this piece I think is the biggest motif in the chart. But I got a lot done on the this border going up, this purple area, this, and then I started here. So I did do a lot on that. So that's what that is. That's um, Quaker Diamonds. So I'm glad I didn't forget that one because I really enjoyed that one. That was like, that's a cool project. And I also currently am working on Light Up, The Light Upon the Lawn by Blackbird Designs. And um, this is the one I'm stitching on the tea dye fabric that I did. And I hope to get this one finished because the only thing I have left to do, I believe, let me look at it, yeah, is this bottom section here. And it's not really that bad. It's flowers and a little flower basket. And there it is. And I'm stitching this one over one. And so it's... 28 count fabric, but I think it's actually a little bit bigger than 28 count after I tea dyed it. Bigger meaning, I think the fibers kind of made it become like a 27 count fabric or 26 maybe even. So um, it's coming out really good and I like it. I just finished all the little detail on that house and that was, but now I'm working on that order on the bottom, which I think is really pretty. So there it is. So, you know, despite losing the stitchy bug, I think I got a lot of work done. So that's good, right? Um, at Cindy's retreat, we did a exchange and um, I'm going to put what I did. And I, I did refer to this in my past videos. I think my last video, um, I'll put a picture right here of the, um, Piece that I did. It is a prairie schooler and I'll show you how I finished it. Okay, now I got the cutest little exchange piece and I, I, I will show you. First, let me show you this first. Strawberries, fall strawberries. This one's more about Halloween one. I think this is a fall one. You know, I like these. Look at how cute they are. These were made by Johnny and she did a wonderful job. And um, I have these out right now for um, fall, my fall decorations. I have it in my three tiered tray. Strawberries, are they cute? She did a really good job. Really pretty. She also made me this. Ugh. I've seen this one on online a lot lately. A lot of people are doing this and I just, just floored. Oh, and it says on the back who it was made by, but I'm, I'll just say her first name's Johnny. Thank you, Johnny. This is beautiful. And also a tiny pair of scissors. Look at how little they are. They're so cute. Very handy. Very nice. So anyway, um, yeah, that, that was, just so much fun doing. and I was glad I took part in that. I have never done an exchange at a retreat like that, so that was fun. I enjoyed it very much. Um, 
Let's see what's going on. What else? Oh, I have one new floss tuber, and you guys probably know them. And you, oh, I already watch them, but you know what? I think they deserve another mention. They are called Married with Stitches. They are hilarious. So much fun to watch. Um, just go and see what they have to offer. They do. They stitch. They finish. They tell funny recounts of things and um, great sense of humor. And just go and watch Married with Stitches. I think that they're just great. You know, I mean, you know, when Floss 2 makes you laugh out loud, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Um, I discovered something new. I'm going to tell you a funny story. I have always had trouble using a rotary cutter, and I always blamed it on, I'm sorry, I'm doing a lot of people noises, but I'm going to take this out. Um, I always had trouble, and I blamed it on my being left-handed. And um, <laughs> I even went so far as to buy a left-handed rotary cutter. I honestly don't know if that really makes a huge difference in my life or not. I don't know. Um, it works well. My problem is having the rulers slide. All the time it's like, how do people keep the rulers down? How do they keep them from sliding? And watch a video. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Mine's like, oh no, I have to stop. And so anyway, I had this, I woke up one day and I had, and it, I don't know if it came to me in a dream. Okay, you think I'm crazy the way it is. I might as well tell you this. I um I had this dream or that I invented something to stop the <laughs> ruler from slipping. And I woke up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to invent that. Well, I go on Amazon, they already invented it. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so I'm still laughing about it. I mean, I'm thinking I am a genius. No, I'm not no. Not so much. They're these little um they have sticky on one side and on the other side they're kind of, they feel sort of like rubbery or like, um, I don't know, like, but they do, they do prevent your, your um, ruler from sliding. So I put quite a few of these on my favorite ruler. I haven't put them on all of my rulers yet. No, but <laughs> um, anyway, so it's uh, not my invention, but it's a cool <laughs> invention. And I don't even know what they're called. Oh, man, that's terrible. It says on here, adhesive non-slip grips on Amazon. So I think I put, I searched Amazon for um, non-slip for quilting ruler or something like that. And it came up, and there were several different kinds. And I got a whole bunch of these for really cheap. So... I don't know, it's just a suggestion. You're probably like, oh, Kathy, I already knew about that. <sighs> okay. All right. So, let's see. Um, I'm looking at my notes. I've got some new stuff. I, you know what? It was really weird because I think, you know, oh, I lost my stitchy bug, but I sure didn't lose my buying bug or my acquiring bug because I got some stuff. Um, that the retreat, I'll, I'll show you what we got from the retreat first. Um, some purchases and stuff that I won. Um, oh, first of all, our lovely, see, I haven't even opened this yet, Sarah, because I wanted to show everybody how cute this was. My table mate, Sarah, hi, Sarah, gave us a little packet with tea and some DMC 310, who doesn't need that? And some tiny leaves, and I thought that was so cute and thoughtful. Since she didn't even know who she was going to sit with, but I'm glad she sat with us. It was so much fun. I already said that. Then um, I we had a there was a like a drawing, so that we had it was like a little raffle with little little, little numbers, and there were some gifts that we got. I've got a. A Bitsy Bob, um, oh my gosh, what is this called? Basic? Of course, made by Kelly, who was at the retreat, and she's just sweet as can be. 
So I got the hat. Oh, this is what I won. Can you believe it? And some cool fabric colors and cotton. I never um, stitched on this. Oh my gosh, it's 40 count. Huh. Oh my gosh. And what's the other one? Oh, I'm so scared. This, no, this one's not 40 count. This one looks more like 28 to me, but it's like a dark gray. I know I should have taken it out of here, but um, anyway. So a light gray and a dark gray. So I got that. I won those. Can you believe it? That's pretty cool. And then I made a purchase. I got a bitsy, my first bitsy bob. Yes, look. Oh, well, I'm showing you the inside, but the outside is what all, you know, it's different on all of them. So it's, you know, it's my color red. Very pretty, isn't it? So love it. It was really nice to see her collection of those and, and that she brought them to, uh, make them available to us. So I was happy about that. And so, um, don't laugh at me. I just, I didn't break the bank or anything, but you know, it looks like I went on a little buying spree and I don't know how all that happened. It was one of those things. I got my colors from uh, Victorian Motto. Let's take those out. If I can get it open. Um, oh, pretty, pretty, pretties. So it was, it's a really good collection, you know, like a, a kind of a taupe-ish brown, a pale blue, really pretty purple with a lot of variegation in it, gold, nice. Oh, that's pretty. What is that called? Oh, rustic wood. That's gorgeous. For this time of the year, right? So anyway, those are my Victorian model colors. Um, all right. Also, there was a free... Uh-oh, I dropped something on the floor. It's okay. Um, there was a freebie table. Also, I, I keep like, rolling back or something. I'm just Maybe I'm out of practice for floss, too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay. There was a freebie table at... Cindy's Retreat, and this was there, and I thought that was gorgeous. Summer House Stitchworks, and it's called Winter Garden. Really pretty. There are some really nice things on that exchange table. Lots of fun. All right, I don't remember where I got most of these from, so just bear with me. Autumn Alphabet, The Scarlet House. I've seen a lot of people stitching it. I love it. Um, how like jolly. Can't resist. Christmas ornament. Luminous fiber arts. Look how pretty. Isn't it? And, and, look right there. So cute. That's, I, you know, I just really went crazy with this one and I got the floss pack. A Cardinal's Carol. Luminous Fiber Arts. Isn't that pretty? I just love him. And I got the floss pack. So I look forward to doing that. Um, the Blue Flower Halloween Acorns. You know, the good thing about this, it's called Halloween Acorns. But I don't, I mean, it looks really... It looks very fallish to me, so I think this is one of those things that you can call it Halloween, but it's, it can stay out all fall, which is nice because to me, fall starts on first day of fall, and it goes through after Thanksgiving, so I can keep all that stuff up. Um, don't make me say this, please. Collection tra-la-la. -la. You know how bad I am. <laughs> French. Isn't that cute? Look at, look. Oh, I like him. So, um, yeah. I bought two of them by mistake. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that at a different time. 
different times. Oh, Cricut Collection. Here's another one I've been seeing. And I, as soon as I saw it, I said, yes. And I, no, I can't. Yes. No. Yes. There it is. And um, Twin Peaks Primitive, Believe in Santa. I think that might have been, where did I get this? I don't remember. Oh, he's cute. I like that sheet. Who wouldn't? Oh my goodness. Is that Fresh Pumpkins? And it's by Kelly from That's So Kelly. Isn't it? I saw this made up and it has a little badge thing to put on it from Fresh Pumpkins. And it's, look, is that not cute? The colors in that are amazing. So. Yay. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. Floss Tube Community is amazing and marvelous and wonderful. And uh, I just, you remember last video I said that I had acquired my um, unicorn and it was Easter Parade by Blackbird Designs because they re-released it. So happily. I got it. Okay. So then I said, well, I need another unicorn, right? And I said, it's the drawn thread in my life. I said this on my video. Gosh, I keep going back like this. I need to pull up or something. Not very long after I said that, I was gifted with this. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can see why I wanted to stitch it. It's just, it's got it all. It's got words to, I mean, it's my favorite song. It's got a B and it has flowers and a, a beautiful border that I, I know it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge to do. So it's specialty stitches, but I can do it. So I can't wait to work on it. And it was from my friend, Karen Korn, Prom Queen Stitcher here on Floss Tube. Karen, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I mean, stitchy, stitchy kindness at its best right here. You know, and it's something that you've been looking for. And so that, yeah, I know. And when we were also in Knoxville, we, a group of us went to a gigantic used bookstore and just kind of looked around for a little while. We weren't there too long, but just to see what they had. And I bought this book of embroidered flowers for $1.50. Look at this thing. I mean, it's got stuff in it that you can embroider and shows you exactly what to do. And so... $1.50. Couldn't go wrong on that, right? So, anyway. That was it. Oh my gosh. The retail of this was $20. Okay. You know I like getting the bargain. So, anyway. Um, I think that's about it for today. Um, thank you for sticking with me even after my long absence. Um, I will be back. And um, my plans are to keep doing, um, going through a, a rotation. I'm not, you know, my rotation right now is stitch on something, change it. I might go back to the one I did before. It just depends um, on how I feel about it. And I would like to get some finishes. That's why I'm working on the light upon the lawn, because I think that's going to be a, a, a pretty soon finish. Um, so that's pretty much what I've got planned. I'm trying to think of what else um, uh, maybe to stay away from <laughs> stay away from the places that advertise and have sales on the most beautiful charts I don't know I just have so many charts right now and I'm the slowest stitcher in the world and if I get one done it's a major thing oh by the time um, I see you next I should have the watch done so that'll be something that I, I will that's my plan that's Next, I worked on a couple things yesterday that I needed to work on, and um, today it's uh, sometime soon. I'm going to work on my um, the watch so that I can get that done, and it can be a Christmas gift. So um, 
plan other plans that we've got stitch day with my group tomorrow looking forward to that um got to decide what to take that's always right got to figure out which one to work on the most so um thank you again for being here um i will probably be back in a few weeks and i see a i see a, a giveaway coming up <laughs> <laughs> probably next time so um i appreciate you all subscribing and visiting and commenting and liking and it just is wonderful floss tube is a, a great community and i'm so glad to be here so until next time bye